David, I do want to ask you about working with Quentin on Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. It's obviously such an ambitious film. What was the one thing he really wanted or needed that you had to make sure you delivered for him? Quentin is very detailed and uh, is pushing the envelope and, and, and he wanted to recreate L.A. of his childhood with great specificity. Mm -hmm. And things like turning Hollywood Boulevard into how it looked in right. 1969. And um, while some of it looks like it did, an awful lot of it doesn't. Mm -hmm. And so we needed to work with all the local um, vendors. Mm -hmm. um, but Quentin, to his credit, you know, he went down and spoke to the Hollywood, you know, the, the city of Hollywood. He actually really engaged in the process. And that's the thing about Quentin. He doesn't sit back. He steps forward in every which way. Mm -hmm. um, so working for him, so it's challenging because he's very specific about the things that he wants, uh, but he also knows what he wants and communicates what he wants. Mm -hmm. And so, as a and producer, you made a movie with him before this? Nope, it was first time. It was my first dance, mm -hmm. and uh, <laughs> it was about as much fun as I've ever had on any movie in my life. Oh, that's um, great. He, the crew, is his family. He treats everybody in front of and behind the camera the same, with great, great respect. Mm -hmm. um, and he's demanding of everyone. You know, if you don't pull your weight, you know, you'll, you'll know. Mm -hmm. um, but he's very supportive and, you know, it, you're supporting his vision, but he at the same time, you know, is open to suggestions and the, the mistakes or things that happen during the day mm -hmm. and embracing those. Yeah, it was an amazing, amazing experience. A film like Marriage Story would never be seen by as many people, uh, heard about by as many people as it would without the marketing of Netflix. Their support from Stuber and yeah. Ted to Lisa Tayback and their marketing oh, yeah. and Julie have, has been unwavering. Mm -hmm. And also their, their, their analysis and understanding of every single aspect of the process yeah. has been really, really impressive. Mm -hmm. And uh, they are great partners and I would make another yeah. film there in a heartbeat. With us, they've, um, the condition of, of, of making it was that they would guarantee us um, a significant distribution. So we, we get four weeks, I, mean, yeah. I think like you, we yeah. get, you know, mm -hmm. we're up for a month prior to going on, on, on the service. Um, we begin small, we right. expand, yeah. and then in a way the going broad is, the, is, is going wide is when we, when, when we go hit the streaming. But they're also talking about keeping in the theatres through February, March, mm. April. Well, isn't Roma, Roma is still Roma in, is still in still some theatres? Theater. Mm. So, so, I mean, clearly they are about the, the, you know, the service, and that's the most mm -hmm. important thing for them, but they also want to attract filmmakers and support the filmmaking ex yeah, e experience. Absolutely. Both films, it's sort of the high wire acts, I, 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 and I think probably for all of our films, yeah. mm -hmm. they're high wire acts. There are moments where they could tip over into in, in, in the wrong way, and, and that conversation with the director or having faith in a writer-director who understand that place mm -hmm. um, is, is, is a really exciting place to be, you know, uh, it's thrilling, mm -hmm. um, but it's scary and, it's, uh, um, it's, uh, and it doesn't necessarily make life easy for the producer or for anybody uh, working on the film. So um, <coughs> movies are not easy to get made, they sit in development for a long time, you have to fight every step of the way. Tell me how you know a movie is worth fighting for. I think it's, in, it's instinctive, you feel it. If there's sort of an urgency within you that you've got a story to tell, that you're passionate about, and you believe the people that are involved in it with you, the, the, the director, the writer-director, the cast, the people behind the camera, it, when, when you feel that, you know that that's something that you've got to fight for, you've got to push through, and uh, it's worthy of being made. It's got to be about something, for me anyway, something that means something to me in one way or another. Hi, I'm Deborah Martin Chase. Hi, I'm Dan Lin. I'm Peter Chernin. Hi, I'm Charlize Theron, and thank you for watching. Thanks so much for watching. Thank you for watching the Hollywood Reporter Roundtable. The Hollywood Reporter Roundtable. Roundtables on YouTube. On YouTube.